What up YouTube, it is your boy All About The Sneakers back with another unboxing and review video for you guys. As you all should know by the thumbnail and the title of the video, that is correct guys, we're unboxing the Air Raid University Red. Now if you guys are aware, which I'm sure most of you are this morning, the Air Jordan 1 University Blue dropped. How'd you guys do on that? Did you go after that or not? Me personally, I took L's all over the place. It was very, very frustrating, very hard to try to get that shoe. I lost on pretty much every raffle that I entered into and therefore I'm Unfortunately, I do not have a pickup vlog or anything like that, not even a review for those sneakers. I may be able to get a review in down the line. However, as far as today on release day, unfortunately, I don't have any content for that sneaker. But that's not what this video is about. I just thought I'd mention that because of the sneaker culture. Everyone knows what happened this morning. Tough, tough, tough to get that shoe. But back to the topic in hand, this sneaker, which is a very clean sneaker in my opinion, comment and let me know if you guys went after this shoe or if you've even seen it or not known about it. I actually picked the shoe up on Nike, so big ups to Nike for the W on this pickup. Now before we go any further, if you're new to the channel or if you're not, make sure you smash the like, subscribe, and share button, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on future release videos. Now guys, if you're not aware, we recently hit 1K subscribers. Big ups to everyone for that. All of the subscribers, thank you guys so much. All of the newcomers, smash the subscribe button so you can become a part of the family. But I mentioned once we hit our 1K goal, I will be doing a sneaker giveaway. If you guys are not up and aware on that situation, we are doing a giveaway currently, guys, for a shoe. And today is the last day to enter into the raffle. So you want to make sure that you follow the rules, get entered into the raffle, because I will be revealing the raffle winner tomorrow. So one day remaining, guys, I will link everything in the description below on this video as far as to how they enter into the raffle. Make sure you do that ASAP if you want to have a chance of winning a free sneaker. Now, other than that news, I do have some upcoming content that I'm hoping to get completed today. I should be doing a mystery box unboxing, a $2,000 mystery box unboxing at that. So stay tuned for that, guys. I should be getting that content up soon, hopefully. Kind of looking forward to it. But anyways, guys, enough rambling. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so here we have our shipping box. As you can see, this isn't the typical Nike shipping box with the Just Do It tape over the top. This one, fortunately, does not have that, so it does not tell people hey look these shoes came from Nike come take me this is more like a recycled box and it does have this little bit of information down here you guys can read that if you want pause the video do whatever but it also has a pull tab across the top so we'll start by opening that voila all right and let's go ahead and get the box open get the shoe box out straight from the manufacturer love when I get the shoe straight from the manufacturer the box is typically in pretty good condition again big ups Nike for the pickup all right so as you guys can see here we have our standard red Nike box with the white text. We got that big Nike with the swoosh logo on top of the box. More Nike branding on one side of the box and our typical Nike branding on the bottom of the box. And on the other side of the box, we get Nike branding with our size sticker. And the size sticker reads Air Raid. The colorway is white, university red, black. This is a US size 10, personal size for me and Nike sneakers. And the suggested retail value is 135 US dollars. Now about the suggested retail price on this sneaker at 130 I'm not too sure why it is $10 less than the OG. Maybe because it's the OG, I, I'm, I'm guessing. Because those shoes did release for $145, and if you don't know, that is the gray and black pair, gray, white, and black. So for this one to be $10 cheaper, hey, I'll take it, can't beat it. However, let's go ahead and see what we have under the lid. All right, so as you guys can see here, we have our typical flip lid on the box. We do get a pretty faded lot number up here in the corner. We get our standard off-white tissue paper. And let's go ahead and get the shoes out and there you have it guys the nike air raid university red a very very clean looking sneaker in my opinion let's go ahead and do a quick 360 on the shoe All right, now I'm not sure if this shoe is an OG, nostalgic, classic sneaker as far as the colorway goes. Now I do know for the silhouette, yes, that is correct. This is an OG sneaker that released back in the 90s, early 90s. I wanna say it may have been 1992. Honestly, I cannot remember, but it is a very clean sneaker and it does have that nostalgic look to it. It also resembles the Air Jordan 8 a lot as this shoe was designed by Tinker Hatfield as well. I wanna say the same year that the Air Jordan 8 
was created. However, anyways, let's go ahead and go over the shoe a little in depth. Starting with our outsole here, as you guys can see, we have a black outsole. We get sort of that metal type of look right here. I mean, this is rubber, not metal, but it does have that design that you will see kind of on the stairs of a truck. Then we also get some debossed text right here, Nike text. We also get that sort of metal texture design here on the rear, as well as on the forefoot of the outsole. On to the midsole, as you can see, we do have a white midsole with some black paint specs, very clean. That is really what sets the shoe off, in my opinion. Love the paint specs. Moving on up to the upper, we do get some white sort of mid-grade leather here. Nothing too plush, nothing too terrible. Just a very nice touch, something clean, and it is tumbled as well. I'll get a little closer, you guys can see the tumbled leather on there. Right here, we get some black breathable mesh. Very, very nice. And we get these crisscross straps that are nylon, and they do have red stitching on them in a diamond type of shape, as you can see, which leads up here to the strap connector, the Velcro piece that says Air Raid on it in red paint. Now, it may be hard to see on the camera, but there are some little bit of glue specks inside of there, guys, so a little sloppy on the craftsmanship. Uh, they could have did a little bit better on that, and then you also see a little bit of threading sticking up here, so just to show you guys the craftsmanship, which is something I want to start addressing a little more in my upcoming videos because it is important when you spend a certain amount of money on shoes you expect a certain type of quality and in this case these are not cheap you expect good quality but when shoes are generally released which is considered a GR of course you're gonna have some flaws but I do believe Nike in particular has gotten a little bit lax with putting things out to the public that are not fully quality inspected now I can't say if these were or not but little things like that you got to catch them. but other than that guys a very clean sneaker looking dope on the lateral side of the shoe moving along going to the medial side of the shoe we get the same identical look as the lateral side just minus the air raid text on to the top of the shoe as you can see we have that white wrapping around our toe cap in leather as well as this little piece here that goes up to the eyelets and right here on our toe box we do get some black nubuck very very nice soft nubuck love that look glad they put nubuck on it just something very dope and clean and it shows a little bit more premium materials we have some black standard laces in place we get a black mesh tongue same mesh that we saw on the lateral and medial sides of the shoe and then on up to that crisscross strap that I mentioned on the lateral side love the strap on these guys it just takes me back to the old school days when straps were big on sneakers and this being one of the main ones very very nice love it and on to the top of the tongue we get some black tumble leather and it does have the Nike Air text on there in black as well it may be a little hard to see in the camera but it is there guys and this tongue does sit low in the shoe so it does cover up the Nike Air I'm pretty sure once they get laced up pulled up it may be a little bit more visible then again it may not be not too sure however very clean on the tongue love that they put Nike Air on the shoe just old school nostalgia at its best love it and on to the back of the shoe as you can see we do have that black on our outsole the white midsole with the black speckled paint white going up the back entirely in leather and we also get our text on the back of the shoe that says for outdoor use only and that is because when these shoes released they started making black top sneakers something that people could play outside on which I assume has maybe some sort of outsole that lasts a little bit longer than in the court. I'm not too sure what outdoor use exactly means, but if you guys do know, comment below and let us all know. However, we also get this University Red pull tab on the back of the shoe. Very clean. Love that it is in red. It just kind of gives it a little bit more contrast to the back of the shoe. Very dope. All right, now onto the interior of the shoe. It may be a little hard to see in there, guys, but we do get a black sock liner as well as a black insole with University Red Nike Air text right there in the center. We also get our size sticker. And unfortunately, we don't get a shoe tree in this shoe. We do get some paper stuffed in there. It's hard to see. It doesn't really matter, but there is paper instead of a shoe tree. And we also get our size tag on the back of the tongue. All right, and last but not least, on to the outsole, guys. We get a solid black outsole with some texture there, a little bit of traction on the forefront as well as the heel of the outsole. And I'll go ahead and turn the shoe vertical so you can see what it says. Air Raid right there in the center for outdoor use only. Again, guys, I believe this is made for the black top. I'm not sure how it will hold up inside of the gym, so if you want to get these to hoop in, then you probably want to make sure you're playing outdoor like it mentioned. However, guys, that pretty much wraps up the outsole. Moving along. All right, and that's pretty much it for the overall look of the shoe. You just saw it right here on All About the Sneakers, the Nike Air Raid University Red. Very, very clean, very dope. Glad to have this in my collection. Now, last year, guys, I was able to get my hands on the Nike Air Raid Urban Jungle, which I did do a review on that. Go check that review out if you get some time. If you're big on Air Raids or even if you're not and you just want to see some different colorways, well, I do have that one as well. I wasn't able to get the OG, but 
but I'm glad to have this one in the collection, most definitely. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and do one more quick 360 on the shoe. And let's get one last look at the shoe before we put it away. All right, and again, you just saw the Nike Air Raid, University Red, very, very clean sneaker. Love it, love it, love it. Now, I do feel the Air Raid is pretty slept on. Some people may think they're really bulky and chunky. The new generation may not know anything about them, so they may not rock with them. Then again, maybe they do. However, I'm an 80s baby, 90s raised me. That is my model, that is my theme, that is my saying. So I'm gonna rock with it because it was of my era, and I'm glad to have it back. I was not able to get these shoes as a kid, so this is something special to me. Anyways, guys, that pretty much wraps it up. Now again, if you're new to the channel or if you're not make sure you smash that like subscribe and share button and make sure you hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date on future release videos now again we are doing the 1k sneaker giveaway today is the last day to enter make sure you follow the rules i'll have posted down here in the description make sure you follow the rules down in the description guys and make sure you get that entry in today because tomorrow i will be doing the raffle reveal and i will have that video up so stay tuned for that also be sure to follow me over at ig at all about the sneakers spell the exact same as you see it right here on the channel with a Z on the end. I will also link that in the description below. But other than that, guys, that is pretty much all I have for you today on this episode. Until the next episode, keep keeping it all about the sneakers. Once again, it is your boy, All About the Sneakers, signing off. Until the next episode, I will catch you guys later. Salute. I'm out.